right. All right. So in the last video, what we have seen, how can you uh, use Process Builder to create or update any record? In this video, we're gonna explore something called Invocable Process Builder. Okay. So for that, let's have a requirement, and then that requirement will try to fulfill with the Invocable Process. So the requirement would be a kind of an add-on on the previous automation that we had done. Let me just open the same uh, process builder that I had created name update account based on the opportunity stage. So what this process builder was doing whenever the opportunity stage was uh, closed on the account status was becoming like own and whenever the opportunity stage was closed lost the account status was becoming lost. Okay, so what I want is this in the same process okay in the same process what business requirement is whenever an opportunity gets created okay with closed um, lost status correct what should happen is immediately with that opportunity a new task supposed to get created let's say i'm creating or updating an opportunity with stage call close lost so immediately a task will be created under that opportunity automatically okay so for that what we'll do is we can actually create a process builder and we can use the create record option to create a task that's fine but the same operation the creating task we have to do multiple time here whenever the opportunity stage is closed on update the account same time create a task and again whenever the stage is closed lost update the account and create the same task so what will you do in this case we have to let me just clone this okay so there are two options we can actually um, perform here one is either I can add one more action over here called create a record and I can create a task very simple but I have to create the same thing here also I have to create one more action here for the close lost and same thing I have to do here instead what i'm going to do is i'm going to create one invocable process the invocable process is nothing but the reusable process builder so i'm going to create an independent invocable reusable process builder which will actually help me to create the task and the same reusable process builder i'm going to call here and here so what i'm doing i'm creating only one process builder and the same process builder i'm calling here and here so it is allowing you not to create the same thing multiple times. That's called invocable uh, process builder, which is reusable uh, processes. In order to do that, I hope the requirement is clear. I'll just repeat the entire story again. What I want is whenever the opportunity stage is closed on, I want a task to be created. And whenever opportunity is closed lost, again, I want a task to be created. Okay, so for, let's say for the same task supposed to be created for account lead and other object also. So if you have an invocable or reusable process builder, you don't have to create the same thing again and again. Wherever you need to create the same task, right? You just use that invocable process. So you're just creating one reusable component once and you're using the same component everywhere. That's the benefit of invocable process. In order to create that, I will come back to this page. Let me just duplicate this tab and uh, go to the view all processes. So here I have view all processes. I can view all the process, right? Let me create a new process builder. So I have given a name here as follow of task creation. The description is this. And this time the process starts when it's, it's we have to select here. It's invoked by another process. So I'm going to create a new process builder, which will be invoked by another process builder. Click on save. What I want here. Uh, so remember here for the invocable process, let's say I want to create a task. The task has to be invoked from an opportunity process. So you have to make sure that the object that you add here, not task, you have to add here opportunity. The object here should be opportunity first of all second thing is i don't want to check any criteria my other process builder which will be invoking this process will have the criteria so i'm giving here no criteria no name has no criteria save and uh, what would be the action action would be create a 
फॉलो अप टास्क क्रिएट अ फॉलो अप टास्क रिकॉर्ड सो वॉट बी द ऑब्जेक्ट टास्क कनेक्टेड अकाउंट टास्क Selected. Now in the task, these fields are mandatory. So, whom the task will be assigned to? What I want is whoever will be the opportunity owner. I want the task to be assigned to that owner itself. So, how do I do it? Assign to ID. Just select here field reference, and select here opportunity ID. Please type opportunity. You will get opportunity ID. Select this. Priority should be, let's say, high priority. Status would be um, in progress, and there is one more field called related to. Okay, what is related to this task would be a child of opportunity. So you have to select here, right? This task will be related to which record? That something would be again selecting here field reference and uh, and selecting here opportunity ID because this task I want to be related to the op same opportunity ID where I am checking the. You know, status is closed on or not? Okay, and if you have any other fields that you want to add on, let's say I want to add the uh, subject as well because uh, task has a subject. So subject I'm giving as uh, uh, this is a follow up task. Okay, anything else that you want to add on that you have to add over here, clicking on add row, you have to make sure that all the mandatory fields that you have added over here. If you don't add it, you will not get any error, but the moment this process get invoked an error will come in the ui so make sure all the mandatory fields that you have already covered up over here i think the mandatory field was uh, assigned to and uh, status i think we have almost covered up all the mandatory field click on next save i am done with the invocable process uh, process okay let me add one more thing over here i wanted to show you how the uh, post to chatter thing works cool so what i want is whenever the opportunity stage is closed on or lost i want this process to be involved and this process has two actions one it will create a follow up task another it will update something in the chatter post to chatter you know what is chatter right chatter is basically uh, let me go to the chatter and uh, let me show you what chatter is and how it works go here and search with chatter you will find chatter tab okay chatter is the is the facebook wall kind of a thing here right so where you can add something over here i'm, I'm going to create a new group here so this year recent groups i i have a group called sales 2021 if you want create a new group okay so what i want is in the same invocable process it will not only create a task but also it will update something in the sales 2021 group you got the requirement it will update something over here it will post something over here automatically whenever this invocable process builder is invoked so for that what i have to do is i have selected here post to chatter action type and select the see you can actually post to either a chatter group or this record you know what is this record this record basically if you select this record here then let's say this is the opportunity and this opportunity has something called chatter over here so here in this particular chatter and post you will see the automatic update make sense so we have two things either you can post something in this um, this record chatter group or in the uh, group that we have created okay so i'm gonna select here chatter group and uh, select find the group okay i have only one group so i'll type in sales the moment you type sales you will see all the um related uh, groups over here selected this i'm going to type here this is a test post okay click on save okay my invocable process builder is ready now my invocable process builder will fire and check no criteria in the opportunity object and the action would be it will create a follow-up task and also it will update something in the sales um 2021 chatter group okay so i'm done let me just activate it make sure your process builder the invocable process builder is activated then only you can use it okay now i'll go back to the view all processes what was my requirement my requirement was whenever an opportunity is lost or owned i have to call this invocable process so for that i will go back to the to the 
same process builder okay one more thing here as per the best practice you should have only one process builder per object because process builder has all this if and else if and else conditions right it's recommended to have same process builder one process builder one single process builder per object i mean technically you can create multiple process builder but uh, you know the problem would be you know let's say you have two three process builder for the same opportunity object now which process will be invoked after which process you don't know you don't have that control that's why you might see sometime your requirement is not fulfilling to make sure you are you have only one process builder per object so here same process builder i have i'm going to clone this because you know right you cannot edit the same process builder so you have to clone it and after you clone the process builder here what i'm going to do i'm going to add one more action correct whenever the stage is on account is getting updated that's fine i'm going to add one more action this time the action would be what action would be i have to select here processes because i'm going to call that invocable process select processes and uh, call the existing process that's the name supposed okay and uh, see this is the follow up task creation that's the invocable process that i have created if you have 10 invocable processes created and whenever you click on here you will see all the 10 uh, process builder name over here in the list i have only one so it's coming over here select it now here you have to select actually you are passing the opportunity id to that invocable process builder with this so you have to pass the variable so here i'm going to pass the same opportunity record because i want to create the task under the same opportunity record which is invoking this parent process make sense so i have selected here you have to do the same thing that i'm doing here okay anything wrong you do then your uh, process builder might not work so make sure when you replicate the same thing in your system whatever clicks i am doing you do the same thing got it and definitely do the same thing and test it out it's it's very important for you not to, not only to see the video but also to you know implement the same thing that i am doing over here in your personal org got it and when you do it and when you test it especially you will understand how it works so i have selected here the process nothing else i have to do here and what else i just have to activate it okay one more thing here is whenever the stage is closed lost here also i have to add the same action so i'll click on process um in this all the same process uh, invocable process and select the current opportunity record over here i'm done so now uh, what i'm going to do is i'm going to activate the uh, process builder okay all set let's go ahead and test it out how do i test it i have to create a new um or i have to edit an opportunity with stage as lost or own if i make a stage as lost or own both the time what will happen account will be updated which we have already tested and if this process builder is fine is working fine and the invocable process builder will be invoked and it will create a new task and it will update something in the chatter group all right so let's go ahead here go to the opportunity I'll open this opportunity call xyz okay xyz private limited and this opportunity is already lost so what i'm going to do is i'm going to change this opportunity status by the way if you see here this opportunity already have one uh, task created call please do the background verification okay so if everything goes well if i edit this opportunity and change the status to close own i got an error okay so this is how if you get a problem uh if you get a problem in your process builder uh the the this is this is kind of a error that will get to see in the ui so the, you know this error the user the business user will get directly so make sure as an admin when you create this kind of a process builder you go ahead and test it end to end because this process builder doesn't give you the uh i mean if you see the error message right we cannot save this record because the update account based on the opp stage that's the name of the uh, process builder but what exactly is the problem that i don't know right 
so this is pretty much a uh, um, uh, error message for the admin so you as an admin after you are done with the process builder creation make sure you go ahead and test it so now let's figure it out why i am getting this error so the mistake that i have done over here is this the invocable process builder that i had created uh, if you see the assign to id i mean home the task will be assigned to this assign to id i by mistake made like opportunity id it's supposed to be opportunity owner id correct so whoever is the owner of that opportunity should be the owner of the task but by mistake i have mentioned over here opportunity id correct so how do i go ahead and change it again can't do anything over here so i have to clone this create a new one new version of that same process go over here and change this from opportunity id to opportunity owner id correct now i'm gonna save this activate it and i'm gonna go and test it out how do i test same thing i i have not closed this page right so i'm gonna just click on save button if the process builder is fine in this case that that error has been solved so the process builder worked and if you see here the stage is closed on i got a new task this is a follow-up task and if i go back to the chatter let me just quickly go to the chatter group that i just have created i got a post over here called this is a test post makes sense so this is the two tasks two actions that i had defined in this particular invocable process one create a task it created a task one another one is post to chatter this is a test post which i've got over here okay so invocable process builder i hope this is pretty much clear but let me just quickly explain theoretically what it is again we as an admin you know uh when actually you'll be working for a particular project you'll have to write you have to use this process builder a lot and that's the only reason i'm trying to spend a little more time in the process builder because that's how you do the automation right and you'll definitely find so many situations where you know you have to create same task again and again again and again again technically you can do it there's no problem but the best practice is if you find that same task you need to create multiple time create that that as a reusable or invocable um, process got it and the same invocable process you have to invoke from the parent process or from any other process so this is a very useful thing and when you do the coding we actually use the same concept we do i mean we will learn this thing in the development where we will learn like apex class we do a lot of apex methods and you know uh, same functionality that we write in the method right once we write it is done we don't rewrite the same code again and again instead the method that we have written will just to recall and uh, this is the same thing that we are doing with the process builder so invocable process is very very much helpful for you as an admin in the project i hope this is clear a request to you whatever i have done here as part of my requirement please do the same thing in your personal org okay and see if you are able to uh, solve the problem if you get some problem check that uh, uh, you know like how i um, you know did the mistake instead of opportunity honor id i put the opportunity id you might also do the same kind of mistakes right so go back to your process builder and recheck each and everything that you have done and try to rectify where exactly the problem is right because because the mm, process builder doesn't give you the a proper error message which will help you to understand what exactly the problem is so you as an admin have to go dig into the process builder and try to find out what was the exact problem okay so this is all about um invocable process see you in the next video